In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the scale panel, which was recently added in version seven of Studio One. Now here I've just got a track with a Falcon loaded. But we actually don't need to see this instrument. So let's go ahead and close that out. We'll double click here on bar two. Let's go ahead and add a MIDI part. And then we'll go ahead and double click on this. Now for this tutorial, let's go ahead and make this edit view full screen so we can really see what's going on with our scale panel. So I'm going to come to the right hand corner and click on that upward facing arrow here. We've got this full screen. We'll zoom in a bit here. Now in version six of Studio One, we had the scale settings over here. So we can see now we're in C and chromatic. So this is actually not new, but up near the top here, we have this little keyboard icon. And if we click on that, that's going to open up our scale panel. Now these settings do work in tandem with one another. So if I were to come to the C here and let's change that to E, then we can see that that updates over here. And then we can see that we have a one octave keyboard here with keys that are highlighted in this light blue showing that we are in this E chromatic. If I come to the second drop down menu, then I can say choose the minor pentatonic, which is going to update the keys that are in this scale. And just notice that in our piano roll, these do not have those uh, blue tips when we change over here. However, once we click on snap to scale, we can see that this updates to show the keys that are playable within this E minor pentatonic. And if you've got a sharp R, you may have noticed that the view for our editor has changed as well. So I'll go ahead and toggle this snap to scale on and off and just take note here within our grid. We can see that that coloration is changing there. So when we activate the snap to scale, only the light gray lanes or pitches are going to be within our scale. And these are the only ones that we can add our notes to. So if I try to click in this dark gray area, we can see that that note then populates right up above. So if I come down to the second pitch here, that's dark gray, that's going to be placed below within the light gray area, because these are within the scale that we have set here. And just a quick note that if we don't have this scale panel open, we can use this check mark to activate the snap to scale feature. So just be aware that that's there. Now we can also manually choose our notes here. So just by clicking once, then we can see that this is updating. And if we'd like to store that, we can come to this paper icon and then choose store as a preset. Once that's stored, then we'll have that available to choose from this drop down menu here. Now, if you notice, we have this little blue highlight on our E key, and that's because we're in the root of E. So this cannot be man manually changed. Uh, when I try to click on that, then both of these are going to remain there, whereas these are being removed. However, if I were to hold Alt on the QWERTY keyboard and click here, then we can see that our root is now changed to A, and our active keys have been changed here as well to reflect that. So again, I'll hold Alt and let's click here. And you'll notice that this is now highlighted to reflect that change to our root of D. And if we'd like to reset this here, we can just click on the reset button. And now we go to our minor triad. And let's actually change this back to our E and minor pentatonic. And moving on to the right here, we have our pitch visibility settings. By default, this is going to be on all. So we can see all of the pitches for our piano roll here. But if we'd like to see only the pitches that are within our scale of E minor pentatonic, then we can click here. And now only what is available within the scale is going to be shown here. So I can pretty much add notes wherever I'd like. Now we also have a button for used. And so we're only going to see pitches that have notes that are placed on them. So I'll go ahead and click once on that. And we can see how that works. That's pretty straightforward. Let's come back to the all setting. And let's actually take our snap to scale off. We'll put this back to C and major. Let's remove some of these notes down at the bottom. 
and we'll just come and add some random notes here. Okay, so let's just try to remember the placement of these notes here because we do have a feature within our action menu where we can apply notes that have already been added to a particular scale. So we will actually change this back again. Let's just choose F and we'll just do something really random here. Actually, let's do this. Now we'll come up to the action menu and then we can see here under pitch we have apply scale. So just take note of these where they're located now. Once I click on apply scale, then you can see that these have been moved to be within the root and scale that we have set up above. So I'll control Z. You can see that those move. Again, coming to our action menu, under pitch, apply scale. So if you ever have a situation where you've already added notes, but you'd like to move those to a particular scale, just know that you have that option available. Okay, so this has been a quick look at the scale panel within Studio 1.7. I hope it's been useful, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.